Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and I just actually just finished my workout at the gym so let's just get in the car in this video I want to talk about a few things that I would personally do before buying a car in order to get the best possible deal and obviously the best price as when buying a car everyone wants to get it for the best deal best possible price so let's get right into it so there are slightly different things you should do depending if you're buying a car on a finance deal or you're just buying it outright cash from a private person so we'll talk first about if you're buying a car a cheaper car let's say or not even a cheaper car but if you're buying it privately cash from a private seller so in order to get the best price obviously you want to negotiate but many times you'll see people will kind of go down to a certain price and um, you'll feel that okay that's the lowest they'll go in some cases there are ways to actually kind of get the seller low lowering the price so things that I would do in order to get the best or you know get the best price for the car I would first always look for negatives on the car so you don't want to show the seller that you are happy and you want the car and you're all excited because then he knows okay the guy wants the car he'll probably pay whatever ask for maybe a little bit less just to kind of convince him but you want to show the person the seller that you like the car but you're not 100 percent bought on it you're not sold basically on the car so you would look around the car look for negatives like a scratch or just look for anything bad besides it's good to know when buying a car you want to know exactly the downsides of the car because normally every single car has some negative on it unless you're buying a brand new car but uh, secondhand cars you'd normally find a scratch here a scratch there um, go through service stuff and you'll always find something that you can try and get the seller like Oh, okay, I didn't know it has this, so I'm not really happy about this. And then he'll say, you know what, okay, I'll go down a little bit more because it has that. Um, that happens, well, it's not guaranteed it will work, but that does help um, in order to get it back a bit lower. So look around the car, if you find some scratches or the wheels or the tires are worn out, just bits and bobs that you just want to kind of make the seller feel like, okay, he's got a point, let me go down a bit because of that point. So that's if you're buying a car from a private seller. Um, other tips are you want to, of course, in the first place, get a good deal. So don't just go for a car that you see, okay, because it has those alloys, I want to get that car. But you're paying more. You can buy the same car a lot less or slightly less, but without those alloys. So don't always jump for a spec if it's a lot more expensive or if it's marked up a lot more than you could get similar cars because... There's, in general, you'll always find on the market similar specs, you know, unless you're getting a rare exotic car. But in general, a regular car, you'll always find some sort of similarities, uh, you know, for sale. If not on that particular week, I'm sure a week or two weeks later. So you preferably don't want to rush into buying a new car if you want to get the best deal. It's always good to keep an eye on the market for a good few weeks before to know roughly what they're selling for and... That will give you more of an indication how much you should be paying for your car. And also, let's say you have an eye on a particular car and it's been on the market for a good, possibly two or three months, then possibly you might have a bigger chance to get it for a better price because the seller is kind of fed up. They just want to get rid of it, possibly at some point. You know, it's been lying there. It's been up for sale for a good few months or few weeks and they just want to move on and sell it. So they might go down a bit more in price. Now, if you're buying a car from a dealer and you're doing a finance, here's what you, you, you would have to do in order to get the best deal. If you come into the dealership and say straight away, you want this car, you want to finance, they're going to milk you. Obviously, they're going to get the best possible price from you because they know that you're not handing out cash for the car. You're going to do a finance, so it's not really going to make a difference for you to um, you know, get a deal. So firstly, you want to kind of go for, like I said, if it's a brand new car, it's different. But if it's a second-hand car, look for negatives, just like buying a car from a private seller but agree on a price before you go to the final stage because once you get to the final stage that's it you're screwed well you're not screwed but that's it you're not going to get a better deal but let me give you an example let's say i'm buying a car for five grand well the dealer's selling it for five grand and i want to first get to a negotiation point get a good deal on the car so go down let's say to four and a half grand yeah this is just an example 
and then afterwards talk about finance deals because realistically if you go straight to the finance point that's it you're gonna get that price if you go to the negotiating price first and then a finance deal then you have a better chance of getting it down for possibly a few hundred or possibly a thousand pounds it depends on the amount or how expensive the car is but important tip um, definitely worked for me and I know quite a few people that I have went to buy cars with and they done it and it worked for them so anyways this is just my personal take this is my tips try this out before you buy a car and also talking about financing you want to make sure you get the best finance deal don't just jump into any monthly figure stuff they tell you and get excited do your research before you commit to a finance see that you're actually getting the best possible deal for your for your particular credit rating and all that you know kind of situation where you are um, because many people get blown away by monthly figures and they don't realize that monthly figures is not all about a good deal it's about you know depending if you have a balloon payment it depends on the last payment it depends on fees there's a whole bunch of things you want to look around so make sure you get it right and uh, yeah best of luck if you're buying a new car anyways guys thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and also guys if you want to support this channel and if you buy things through ebay shop through the link in the description below you can buy anything you want from ebay if you buy it anyways it will help to support this channel so if you do so please use my link and just search and buy whatever you want through the link thank you guys and i'll see you next time bye